When we talked about the free rider problem and its link to our incentive to underreport our demand for public goods, you might have sensed the whiff of yet another prisoner's dilemma. After all, if all of us have an incentive to underreport our demand for public good, then too little of that public good will be provided, will reach a suboptimal outcome. If only we could cooperate, if only we could tell the truth about our demands, then we'd have all the information we need to implement the optimal level of the public good and maximize the overall surplus. But because it's in our incentive to underreport our demand regardless of what everybody else is doing, underreporting is a dominant strategy that leads us to that suboptimal equilibrium. That sure sounds like a prisoner's dilemma, and in fact it is. And to make the link between free riding and a prisoner's dilemma even clearer, let's think about a two-person example that we could actually represent in a payoff matrix. Suppose that you and I are neighbors and there's a national holiday that's approaching. We'd like to see some fireworks in our backyards. Each of us has the opportunity to buy one package of fireworks. And let's suppose that that package costs $100. Let's further suppose that each of us gets a marginal benefit for the first package of fireworks that's launched that's equal to 90 and the marginal benefit for the second package that's equal to 70. So here we have two points on our demand curves. The first tells us that the first package is worth 90 to us and the second package is worth an additional 70. So now we can think about a payoff matrix that emerges from the game that we play when we individually decide whether to contribute a package of fireworks to our backyard fireworks display. So we'll have a matrix where each of us has a choice between either contributing a package, buying one at the store and bringing it to the backyard, or not contributing. So each of us has the same possible actions we can take. And then we can use this information to fill in the payoffs in the matrix. The easiest one is, if neither one of us contributes, then there won't be any fireworks. We'll have spent no money, we'll have incurred no cost, but we'll get no benefit either, so the surplus we get is zero. What if both of us contribute? Well, then both of us are spending $100 to buy a package of fireworks. But we get the benefit of seeing two packages of fireworks launched. And our marginal benefit from the first is 90, and the additional benefit from the second is 70. So the total benefit we get is 160. So we get a benefit of 160, we incur a cost of 100, that leaves us a surplus of 60 each. Now before you take the next quiz, I'd like you to fill in the rest of this matrix. What would be my surplus if I contributed and you didn't contribute? What would be your surplus? And what it, would it be if you contributed and I didn't contribute? When you fill in the rest of the matrix, if you've done it correctly, you should be staring at the prisoner's dilemma. In other words, it should be the case that overall surplus is maximized up here if we both contribute a package of fireworks. It should also be the case that our dominant strategy is to not contribute. In other words, Regardless of whether the other person contributes or not, it's in our incentive to not contribute a package, leading us to this equilibrium where no fireworks go up in our backyards. So that's what you should see. And what's happening is that each of us is trying to free ride on the other. But by each of us trying to free ride on the other, we end up with no fireworks at all. So before the next quiz, think through these payoffs See if you get a prisoner's dilemma, and on the quiz, I might ask you a few questions about that.